what does a miniature Europe have to do with your career, right? So watch this video here to learn a interesting tip for you to grow your career. So right now I'm in this place here what I call Mini Europe, right? So you can see all those amazing uh, buildings and you know you can see the Big Ben over there, you can see the Eiffel Tower right there. Um, so I'm this place called Mini Europe, right? Because it's all this tiny little, um, uh, how do I say, right? It's tiny little uh, reproductions, right, of real buildings, right? And the first thing I thought when I'm right in the entrance, the first thing I thought when I got inside here was this is awesome for the career. Because here's the thing, for you to grow your career, for you to learn new skills, for you to learn new technology, the best thing for you to do is mini projects, right? You know, you do, uh, because mini projects are, are exactly the way that you need for you to apply your skills, for you to learn uh, skills, for you to really do things in the real world, right? Because the, way, the best way to practice is to practice real things, right? Not, you know, lots of people want to do, right, just kind of do tutorials and do mini, you know, mini projects. They're like, that's just, just exercises. And that's not the best way to learn things, right? The best way to learn things is to do real things, right? But, you know, for small problems, right? For small uh, re real life situations, right? The, the, you know, the, the closest you are to the reality, the better it's gonna be, right? So those buildings right there, you know, they're small, but they try to replicate the, the features of a, the real thing, for features of the big thing, right? So, uh, so that's what you need to do, right? We need to work on small projects, problems that, that are, um, you know, that we can actually do that uh, we, we have low risk. I think that's the most important part, is that we have projects with low risk. Right, so we do real things with low risk, and because they're real things with low risk, we learn things in the reality. Right, so those is that's the best way uh, for you to learn skills, especially what we call soft skills. Right, so lots of people think that uh, you know the, the soft skills are the non-technical skills. No, 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 no. Soft skills are the, the the malleable skills. Right, the skills that you have to apply to different strategies, to different situations. Every time you apply them, they are different. Right, so soft skills are best learned and practiced in the real world, in small projects, in small situations where the risk is low, right? So hard skills you can you can practice in you know in in exercises, right? So for example, if you want to learn a programming language, a programming language is a hard skill uh, because it's it's a precise skill, right? Or typing on the keyboard is a precise skill. So those things you learn by doing exercises, right? Because then you repeat, 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 and you do exercise. But a soft skill, you know, like solving problems or soft development or, or you know, uh, speaking, public speaking, those are all soft skills. And soft skills are best learned on the real world, in small projects, in small situations, situations that the risk is low, right? So if you want to grow your career, go do uh, your mini Europe in your project. Go do a small thing that's going to help you, right? So, uh, this is Bruno Souza for Code for Life, and you want, if you want more tips uh, for your career, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Ring the bell, right? Because I'm publishing videos every day doing this trip in Europe to help you grow your career. So, see you next video.